So today's video is basically, this is a video that the Lord has led me to make and it's something that has been on my mind and it came from a place of um, just having a com conversation with the Lord and the things that he has been revealing to me and obviously I have to also share this with other people so that whoever needs this can be blessed as well. So. Um, recently the Lord has been teaching me a lot about obedience and there's a lot <laughs> when it comes to that but our most recent conversation was him talking to me and telling me he had asked me do you love me and I said yes Lord like I like yes Lord I do and he said if you love me you keep my commandment and you know Matthew 22 37 says love your God with all your heart with all your soul and with all your mind for that is the first greatest commandment and the second one is to love your neighbor as yourself you know and of course you know most times when God says do you love me everyone's like yes God I do but when he focuses on the second one love your neighbor as yourself now this is the part that he really was focused on when he came to me who is my neighbor I had to ask myself like who is my neighbor and he said to me your neighbor is whoever has done you wrong so it's not just your friend it's not someone that you know it's not someone that you're okay with it's someone that I have in my heart said oh you know like I've forgiven but I was still harboring this feelings and this grudges over them he said you, you might have forgiven them but do you love them and I was like oh wow <laughs> That is a that's a different question because I can say that I have forgiven them or like you know I'm okay with them. If someone else brings up that name, does that too like does the sound does the mention of that name trigger me? But he said I have to study the love that God has for His children. I have to make God's love my truth. For some reason, that really that really and that was the last thing he said because after that he just changed the conversation i was like lord i need more i need you to <laughs> explain more like what does this mean like what how and i started studying i had to go and really study like first i was like okay what does it mean to what does truth mean to me truth is what is real to me it's something that i live by it's something that i hold as important as like my truth this is my truth this is something that i believe in. i was like okay, what do i believe is true that jesus died on the cross for me that i am saved god loves me yes that i am called that i am god's child right well god's love overshadows all of that so now this is where god's love comes in his love overshadows all of that because out of everything that i believe is true it can it, it's not possible without god's love God's love is the main reason why Jesus was sent on the cross to die for me. God's love is the main reason that I am standing here right now. So God himself is love. He doesn't give something that he isn't. He, he doesn't have to think about loving you because that's what he is. God is love. I need to make that my truth. God's love has to be my truth. It has to be my lens in which I look through when it comes to when someone hurts me love you because God loves you you know when someone has done something that is truly painful like I am walking in the, I'm walking in the truth of God's love God loves me enough to wake me up this morning God loves me enough to give me strength to keep going God loves me enough to forgive me for the sins that I have committed God loves me enough to give me a family to give me a business I have to shift my entire mindset my entire the way I look at things, the way I react to things, my perspective has to change because when I have made God's love my truth, I understand certain things differently because when an enemy comes to me to try to tell me I'm weak, I know that's a lie because that's not what my Lord has said because that's not true. God has given me strength. 
it took a very long time to understand this when I was just studying this. I was like, Lord, like, I'm not understanding what you're trying to tell me right now. I had to ask the Holy Spirit to really, really like reveal to me what is it exactly that you were trying to tell me because I could understand, I don't want to understand this from my, from my own understanding. I don't want to understand this with my own mind. I, I will need to know exactly what you were trying to tell me. And God really like, make my love your truth make that what you live by so now every day i have to think about what do i like how am i making god's love my truth today you know how am i walking by that and that as well is also being obedient because i have to walk in obedience to what he has called me to do i have to show that yes because all this time i've learned about obedience i'm talking about okay lord i want to be obedient to you i want to obey the things that you've said i want to walk in obedience and this is how i do that because when he has called you to do something when god has called you to do something you don't wait you don't you don't it's okay like okay lord okay maybe tomorrow but like, you have to do it right then if god has said do this right now you have to start doing that because if you are pushing it for tomorrow that's disobedient because god has not told you to do that thing tomorrow when god revealed to me what he revealed to me and he told me exactly what he how he wanted me to make this video he showed me exactly what i should do and i was like, okay but i'm my my i might procrastinate and this is what you should do procrastinate my videos and god said no do it now and i kind of wanted to like okay maybe like because because i have a lot of stuff to do but i was like no i'm gonna sit myself in this chair even to even start making this video right now it was there was a lot of stuff going on but i was like no he's called me to make this video i have to make this video today and I, even if i don't like it even if it doesn't look the way i want it to look god god doesn't care about what i look like he cares about what I'm saying, what value I'm adding to other people, and that is what I have to care about. I don't need, I don't want to care about what I look like, or what my video looks like, or if my video is aesthetic enough, or if it's nice enough. I'm gonna sit myself down here and say what the Lord has called me to say, and that is, you have to make God's love your truth. That is what you have to live by, because you, your mind and your perspective on things has to change for there to be a change in your life your entire the way you view things has to be shifted on you you're called to renew our mind every single day and this is this is one way that god has called me to renew my mind this is one way that god has called me to change my perspective on the way i feel things because if i'm not living in god's love if i'm not giving god's love to other people then i'm failing I am failing and I'm not doing what I have been called to do and I have to do what I've been called to do if I'm opening my mouth to say Lord I want to obey you I want to walk in your will so this is me walking in God's will you have to obey when God has called you to do something get up and do it and I know sometimes it's hard and I know sometimes it's like okay but this is where you go to the Holy Spirit if you are struggling with this I was very much struggling with this word that God gave me I didn't understand it for some reason my mind just didn't get what he was trying to tell me this is where i had to surrender myself to hearing god's voice i had to stay there till he revealed to me what he was trying to tell me and i had to keep asking the holy spirit what do you want me to learn what is it that you want me to say even before i said making this video what do you want me to say to these people how do i even say this because i knew what he wanted me to say but how do i even start like how do i even get this across sorry guys my voice if my voice sounds a little bit because my friend has been acting up recently but i don't care i'm going to say what god has told me to say but um yes i think i have been talking enough this was meant to be a very short video but yes just remember to make god's love your truth and if you don't know what that if you don't understand go and ask the holy spirit to reveal to you what exactly he wants you to learn by that what does he want you to know by that because my revelation can be different from your revelation it could be the same thing but there can be a little difference in that because we have different walks like my walk is different from yours my walk is different from someone else's so god might be revealing something to me and he might be revealed and he might reveal something else to you but you have to go and ask the holy spirit for help because that's the only person that can help you. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you guys are blessed by this and I hope that you guys all have a lovely day.